Admittedly, Metal Gear was a game I kind of considered common and pretty easy to find. And I don't mean common and pretty easy to find in the same way. I mean, like, so many people had this game, it was almost considered, like, lesser in value versus other games. Although today, I love it so much. It was so in-depth that I totally took it for granted when I was playing this back in the day. And this copy is not working. We're going to see if we can try to get it working with a little something I like to call open cart surgery. I don't have a tech background or engineering degree or anything like that. I just try to get these broken games working again, breathe life into them and send them back out in the wild. Usually via the WhatNot app. No, I'm just kidding. Well, sometimes. Uh, let's, tr I mean, we just try cleaning it, but if I have to use the soldering iron, which I have at my handy side, I will do just that. Let's pop it in, see what it looks like up front. Actually, no, let's open it up first because you don't want to be popping in your grubby, grummy games, especially like if you find them at estate sales, yard sales, you know, from other people, you don't know. So we're just using this little screwdriver here. All the tools I use are linked to my Amazon affiliate store there. Okay. It's probably going to be fine, but I mean, hopefully just cleaning it sometimes. That's all you really need. Here's what the classic Metal Gear looks like, and this one looks decent. I don't see anything wrong with it up just visually, but I also never see anything wrong with any of these visually. Sometimes I'll get pictures like on social media saying like, hey, my game's not working. Here's a picture of it. What's wrong? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I mean, that's that's why I do these videos, so you can figure it out too. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it all. So we're going to try the 1-Up card. These 1-Up cards have a fluid side and a dry side. You just kind of scrub them. There is a version with my face on it if you'd like. You can order those from, uh, again, linked in the uh, Amazon kind of like tools I use for open cart surgery, whatever it says in the description. Oop. Fluid side. I do this first. I know sometimes it doesn't always work, but I do this first on games that don't work because for a stretch, I swear like 10 videos in a row, this is all it took. And half of the comments were like, well, that's a boring video. And then the other half was like, hey, you know, if it works, it works. That's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking for drawn out drama. Oh no, what's gonna happen next? It's like, I just want these games working again, man. And if that means a three minute video, it means a three minute video. Not to say that this is if I don't, oh, I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. Uh, let's see here. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs with a light up light here. Thank you, Rock Solid Productions. I'll leave a link to his store just so you can see what other kind of light up lights he has available for you. Ooh, that doesn't look good. What's going on there? That's not a good look at all. Interesting. Well, we can try the bright boy, I guess. <sighs> okay. So what you do... I'm just kidding. Bright boy is a brass polisher. Um, if I can articulate it here. I promise I'm a radio broadcaster. And uh, again, Gary, the same guy who makes those light-up signs, um, came from the RC world, an RC repair, and he noticed that... Anytime they used Brasso on engines and stuff like that in the world of RC, they would always gum up and stop working. But Bright Boy not only cleaned them, but also seemed to help him make it better. Then when he got into like tech repair and stuff, he was like, wait a minute, if it worked on this, maybe it'll work on video games. And so far, in my opinion, I think it works great. And it's certainly not using Brasso for sure, you know. Now, even after cleaning it with one of these, you know, I'm just using a Q-tip here. Um, you also want to just, I like using a, a one-up card afterwards also just to remove any residual stuff that you may not see. Because if you gunk that up in your system, then, you know, congratulations, your game might work. But your system, in my case, a, you know, a modded top loader, well, that's SOL. And not worth it for Metal Gear. Sorry, Kojima, I love you, but no. Oh, I'll show you the Q-tip too. Because um, again, I, I cleaned this first, and then when I took it through, I'm gonna do the, this, that was the fluid side, and here's the dry side. Kind of use it as a buff, buffy. A bufferino, a buffer who sits. Uh, where did I, where did I put that? And then here is I'm covering my face because it does the autofocus thing. But yeah, you see what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, let's have a look. And you can just pop it in like this. I just, I just like to do that way. I don't, I don't know. You don't have to put it back in the case and all that. I mean, if you have a if you have a toaster model, I suppose you could or should or something. Oof. Yeah, it's not it's not the pins. It's some it's something deeper than all that. And I can try touching up. I'm gonna try touching up these solder points. Because that sometimes helps. Pretty dusty on the inside, even though... Even... And the capacitor is fine. The resistors are fine. But I'm just going to... I'm just going to try touching up the solder points and see if that does it. Sometimes it does. I'm just going to use a soldering iron here. And I'll bring this guy over here. And just these two... This guy here, this guy here. I don't want to touch it because this thing's super hot right now. But just these two... And for the most part, really just this one. Because this is CHR RAM. And the game works. So I'm just going to worry about this one only, right? Just that one. Which will also give me a quick chance to tell you the conventions I'm going to. Sometimes I receive these games live at conventions. And all I'm doing, really, this one's always a little harder to get to. So I'll start with this one. I'll also end this with this one. I think we're good there. 
because usually this kind of melts and it just reforms. Melts, reforms. So by the time you're watching this, uh, the next will be uh, mid-May. I'll be at Renton City Retro. That's in Renton, Washington, just south of Bellevue. That'll be a fun one. Having the voice actors from Cowboy Bebop, kind of a, uh, four of them, going to have a little reunion there, celebrating 25 years or something like that? A long time. The very end of May, it's not confirmed confirmed, but I've been chatting with the people at Comic Palooza Houston. So it might be my only chance to see me in, in Texas at Comic Palooza Houston. Now, more on that if when that comes around. End of July, Mo Game Con, I'll be there. Milking Con, St. Louis, Missouri. Love that place. Love that one. The second weekend of August, find me at Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. That's another favorite of mine. The Cradle Aviation Museum. You get the expo and you get like tickets to the museum. It's all super awesome. I think it's the second weekend of October, maybe the first weekend of October. You'll find me at Retro Game Con, Syracuse, New York. I'll probably be at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Nothing confirmed. Really rad weekend in November. That's Destin, Florida. I did a video on that one, uh, you know, last time I was there. And I'm coming back, and more soon to be announced when they announce more. This is the last one I'm touching here. Let's see if this got the job done. Come on, CRT, don't fail me now. If it looks the same, I'm going to call it an end. It's the same. It's something else. Maybe just a board swap. I'm going to hold on to this for now, because uh, I used the last UN ROM boards I had. Um, but, you know. You know what? Still worth giving it a try. You never know. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. There's always new open card surgery videos on the way. Thank you.